so um, i'm sure some of you guys have seen these as well um the adidas sambas have been kind of run into the ground they've been kind of you know done to death they've been kind of rinsed but i'm not gonna lie i think this might be one of my favorite non wells bonner adidas samba because i think adidas sambas have been done only really well by wells bonner and maybe jason deal and maybe at a stretch maybe at a stretch jound with some of their classic you know flips on like the classic colorways with nicer materials but i really like this particular adidas samba designed by former yeezy designer ding yun i said ding yun zhang so this guy used to design for Yeezy back in the day. I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with him on Instagram. He does those amazing big coats with those crazy hoods. I'm sure some of you guys have seen these kind of jackets that he used to put out back in the day. I'm not too sure if he still makes them anymore. But I think he went to St. Martin's also, the same college that I went to to study fashion and shit. So he's very well known. And he makes these amazing jackets that he used to help design for Yeezy and himself, right? These type of jackets here. As I'm sure most of you guys have seen this blue particular one with this great hood that he's always been known for this almost like spaceship you know this almost astronaut-esque type of style thing he said he did back in the day so this is that guy right ding um what's his name this ding yun zhang so he's now going out to do his own thing carving out his own lane being a designer and shit and his first sort of foray out there to kind of you know announce himself is this amazing collaboration that he's done with adidas right it's fucking cool um so it's on an adidas samba releasing on the 10th of may again adidas sambas have been rinsed to death but i think this is a really cool flip and a really cool iteration of it especially when you think of some of the designs that he's done it kind of does look similar to a lot of the jackets he's put out here in the past so a lot of the design codes that you'll kind of know him from are being kind of filtered in on this particular adidas samba some of the quilting some of the different materials and shit the exaggeration on the collar here looks really cool i think the mid this midsection here that almost looks patent leather patent leather almost like translucent which shows what's going on here it's really really cool um it's all black with i think a is it suede maybe um counter on the mid top on the toe box on the back i'm not really too sure but i love it completely completely triple black and this is probably harder to get right because it's just all black um i think a lot of people kind of you know are able to kind of pimp out or make their collaborations look a little bit more interesting with you know adding different bits of color and different paneling but just making it totally black and also making it look, look appealing is really difficult to do and he's actually done that so big up um ding yun for doing that these look fucking cool i fucking love these um we've got some more pictures here as well courtesy of over and under on instagram or oh, sorry on twitter so big up over and under on my favorite accounts and again look how different they look in person the pattern on the on the midsole on the midsection anyway it almost looks like it's wet you know what i mean i love that texture it almost looks translucent as well you got the black on black here on the upper different materials down the collar um, I, I don't think i'm not sure if that's um satin with some foam on the inside not too sure what it is but i love that exaggerated kind of collar design also and we've got some extra pictures here courtesy of um adidas sorry of um hype beast as well that features some more so you can see what it looks like and i think a short interview as well that he did as well with some things as well let me actually load that one up because i think i want to actually see what he actually said regarding the collaboration itself but he's got a short interview here he did with hype beast where he sort of kind of details exactly why he did what he did so let's get this up on here bear me a second i fucking find it uh, 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 uh. let's do this let's do that so this is the this yeah, this is the interview that he did with hype beast where he talks about it he does okay what is saying hype beast oh look at his other pictures too the fucking zoom in the zoom in here the zoom in on the fucking shoes on the tongue looks fucking beautiful i love these look at the tongue there that looks fucking beautiful i really do love these he looks really fucking nice and i love that he added flat laces on them too not the round laces you got a bit of foam here i'm not sure what the materials and the collar but that's pretty cool all black design the midsole looks great exaggerated collar again reminds me of some of the jackets he's done in the past with these exaggerated hoods and shit so a lot of nice interesting codes relayed back onto the shoes again so big up him on the on the on the interview courtesy of hype beast they, they ask him what does a collaboration mean to you he says i've had an interest in fashion since i was a child or sneaker sorry before i could get my hands on shoes i could make sketches of them i used to create collectible sneaker trading cards modeled after popular silhouettes all the time many of those shoes were made by adidas so its partnership as being my first footwear release really feels like a dream come true to be fair i'm surprised nike didn't jump on him considering his easy connections considering how futuristic all his shit wear is 
Nike should have fucking jumped on him. I'm not gonna lie. It's fucking criminal they didn't. I know he does a collab he did a collaboration with Marnie right back in the day, but he should have been working with fucking Yeezy. Because, sorry, with Nike, especially after Nike got let go of fucking Kanye. I'm surprised they didn't try and tap him up. Again, Nike are not really on the ball anymore back as they were in the past, isn't it? Because some of the stuff he's done with Yeezy has been fucking fantastic. The fact that they never really helped him with that is a bit weird, but you know, what can we do? Um, oh, there's more pictures here. There's a lot of people wearing them too. Oh, this picture makes him look fucking cool. Let's see this picture. Let's see these pictures. Courtesy of sneakernews.com. Nice with some white pants and white socks. They look fucking phenomenal. These look so hard. I really fucking like these. I'm definitely going to try and get a pair. Look at the top as well. They kind of, again, kind of looks translucent, almost patent leverish. The front, the top of that shoe, especially with the patent and the mix of the black. So, yeah, this is the best thing they've done with Ada Sambas, you know, since Wells Bonner, because she's been absolutely killing it with their collaboration. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go back to the interview. Um, what what's, what was the first Ada shoe that caught your attention? It was a Tracy McGrady T Mac fives in two thousand six. That was the first very pitiful year for me. I was hooked by that shoe's unique usage of pattern leather, and it was the first time that I had been wooden panels on the basketball shoe. That silhouette had a very strong influence on my design codes. Classic basketball sneakers, skate styles heavily informed my later works, and I think Ada's played a big role in shaping my aesthetic. Oh, really? Let's let's see these. I'd never heard of these Tracy McGrady T Mac fives. What do these fucking look like? What's a Tracy McGrady T-Mac? Okay, oof. These are absolutely awful, isn't it? These are the shoes that inspired his his design language. Fair play. They look fucking horrendous. But they do look at they do look like a shoe. Not to be that guy, but they do look a they do look like a shoe that Asian kids that play basketball would love, you know? There's a particular breed of Asian dudes that play basketball that love these type of shoes. If you get if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I'm not surprised that he loves them, but they look so fucking ugly god damn they look fucking ugly let's continue um i was never actually able to buy the t-mac fives though the first Ada shoe i got my hands on were kid size one 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 and one intelligence 27 2007 the shoe itself has hard was had plus and minus buttons on the side of the design they were able to adjust the midsole's cushioning um it continues here um did you wear sambas at all yes this question makes me instantly flash back to my days of boarding school in the uk we had a strict uniform you weren't allowed to wear sneakers but i'd wear all black sambas anyway because they blended in well and i pretty much got away with it continue again what what did you discover while visiting Ada's archives in beijing and in herzegova in in her, her whatever that place is and how did your trip influence your design process i was always been driven by adidas's innovation and it was very inspiring to see the history of the archives we were able to be very hands-on with the models and i learned how certain materials age over time it was exciting to think about how we could implement new ideas into what already existed okay what, why did you decide to remake the Samba? We have an option to tackle other silhouettes, but the Samba's history and the youth is subculture, coupled with the influence of sports and skateboarding, sparked a strong curiosity. It's a good decision too, because he's, again, he, he's well known to me because I'm, you know, balls deep in all this shit, but I think to the wider public, he's still probably unknown. So to announce himself design-wise and to kind of maybe spark other collaborations, it's actually smart to go with the Samba because it's a silhouette everyone's wearing now. Um, it's in the cultural zeitgeist. It's familiar shape um everyone's you know jumping on it so just include another one out there someone buy especially in the all black silhouette it's it's an easy cop so it's a smart decision to go for these instead of going for maybe a trickier model that people are probably not that familiar with coupled with not being that familiar with the brand it's going to be a harder sell but the asamba is a easier sell even if you are unknown or not that you know on the come up it continues how did you put your personal spin on the silhouette everyone knows without getting too far away from the ethos uh, for me it was always really about staying true to the brand's ethos so the word ethos again exaggerate design details like the pull like the puffed up collar and the shiny finishes these ding touches were very important to me i wanted to accentuate the samba with my own perspective not rewrite history not re rewrite its story what did the production of the process look like to you um i flew to germany with my mother and we designed the shoe over a few rounds of ideation meetings at Aida's headquarters. Their team also came to my studio in Shanghai, where we conducted focus group sessions to troubleshoot any design flaws and implement changes until we got the result we were looking for. Ra, he went to Germany with his mum. That's kind of cute. I like that. You have to yet you've yet to put on you've yet to put out a namesake shoe, but you are the brain behind some of Yeezy's most beloved silhouettes. How did your fruit process of the collaboration differ from the time at Yeezy? 
the idea okay what what did he help design at Yeezy what shoe did he help design I'm assuming maybe the one of those shoes I saw that was featured on here right I wonder what he designed at Yeezy let's see what shoe did he do oh the 700 okay he helped to, to okay he maybe helped design one of these maybe this maybe this is why they're showing us the the wave runner the original 700 did he help design this okay maybe he designed an element of these shoes and maybe some other ones that probably didn't make the make it or maybe the slide as well that's pretty cool if he did help design these let's see what they say here on this website concept kicks what did he do at yeezy did he actually help design those is that actually true could you tell us your favorite design shoes your favorite Yeezy shoes of all time AEZ 2s okay cool whatever shoe did he design for Yeezy let's touch on Kanye briefly has it been balanced a desire designing with Kanye was a free limitless experience I don't feel any pressure to design in any way that was that wasn't true to myself he gave me the liberty and the responsibility to express myself and working with him was a great experience the appreciation for my taste um, it was how Kanye Stephen Smith and I worked together to design the 700s wow he designs the Yeezy 7 this is my favorite Yeezy of all time he designed the fucking 700s that's fucking cool. Big up Ding. What a fucking beast. One of my favorite Yeezys of all time he helped design. No wonder I like those Sambas in. No wonder I fucking love the Sambas. It makes sense why I love these fucking shoes, doesn't it? Let's continue here. Um, the idea of making a shoe um, was like building a rocket ship to me when I was younger. But after working at Yeezy and building Silhouette step by step, my perspective widened to see innovative possibilities within the footwear space. With this collaboration, the process of taking an original sketch and placing a product in the market was pretty similar because we we're also working with Adidas at the time. What was your favorite design uh, feature on the shoe? I really like the Hill Guard, which is inspired by David Beckham football shoe called the Predator. Oh, yeah, true. Is that what it's inspired by? That is fucking sick. So the back of the collar is inspired by this. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see it. I see it. This material in here on the back of the Adidas Predator, the classic David Beckham one from back in the day, the Absolute Predator, the same lines that are featured on the back of that heel are featured on that fucking shoe. Wow. Big up him, bro. That's fucking cool. That is really fucking cool. Okay. I see what he did there. I see what he did there. I like it. I fucking like it. Again, um, release date. When we got release date here before we end, and I'll stop coming over these shoes because they don't really matter what they are. Um, the release date is scheduled for um may the 10th i select retailers on confirmed registration opens on may 4th at 10 a.m cet for the ding yung zhang sambas check those out fucking cool i love everything about them they look fucking beautiful they really really do look absolutely beautiful they look absolutely beautiful 